A year ago, we were together, we were talking about all the work that the Clinton Foundation does around the world, what they're working on. Uh, currently, what would you say is your number one priority, the Clinton Foundation? What my focus right now, that our new focus, is trying to do more about the opioid epidemic. Yeah. I have been working. <laughs> we, well, let me just say a few words about it. I'll, ask yourselves all these questions. First of all, how many of you know someone who uh, has either died or who had someone in their family die of opioid overdose? Raise your hand. Look, look. Okay. Hillary and I, Hillary and I have five friends who've lost children. This is no respecter, and by the way, one was African American, two were white Arkansans, one was an Indian whose father was an immigrant who did, did terrifically well, and one was a Kosovo Albanian immigrant who lives on my street. And what bothers me about this, I started working that when the young, brilliant, wonderful Indian American man who was working for Hillary at the State Department died and of his girlfriend told him after they drank four beers together, he should pop an Oxycontin, it would give him a buzz. If you fall asleep, that can kill you because any mixture of opioids with any kind of alcohol deadens the part of your brain that tells your body to breathe while you're sleeping. Now, I have asked all kinds of people, including a 20-year-old young guy that just got out of rehab, a couple of weeks ago, I saw him. Did anybody ever tell you that in school, in high school or college? No. And he said, believe it or not, I asked the same question to the people I was in rehab with. And the answer was no. So I spent most of my time trying to make oxy, uh, excuse me, Narcan or Naloxone more readily available at the lowest possible price to the people who have to distribute it and also working with a wonderful little uh, company called Adapt to get free nasal spray uh, naloxone containers to as many colleges and high schools in the country as we could, as quickly as we could. Now, the good news is, uh, I don't know, if you see this stuff work, it's like mind-boggling, it's like a miracle. You've got somebody who swears dead, and I mean they're back in a minute. The problem is, Someone has to be there. Mm -hmm. And so what I've tried to do now is I, we work with the Bloomberg School of Public Health at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. We just came back from Baltimore doing our third annual opioid summit. And we're trying to do more first to educate people on the basic public health. Problems. Believe it or not, all of you young people, every person you know, you should tell. You cannot mix an opioid with any level of alcohol of any kind mm -hmm. without risking your life. And if that's you a, do... A, people don't know. They don't know that. And if you see somebody do it, you should slap them around so they can't go to sleep. <laughs> I mean, do whatever you have to do. Throw a bucket of water on them. Yeah. Just basic stuff. So we're trying to do prevention. We're trying to keep people off of it. And then we're we've got trying to go out and, and create public health networks yeah. with what budget we've got. So we're doing our best to go out and try to figure out how with whatever money we've got, we can build out some basic treatment and basic education and get the universities and colleges involved everywhere so we can keep everybody alive. And that's the most important thing. You got a chance <laughs> as long as you're breathing. Yeah. We, but you need to tell people these things. And make sure they know 90,000 people a year are dying. It's, it's an incredible... Uh, 90 people a day, I'm sorry, over 60,000 people this year. Yeah. It is an insane epidemic that we're experiencing right now. And uh, I, wish we had, I, I wish we had more time. Because I've never talked to a guest who has more facts at their fingertips than you do. <laughs> and has uh, more important things to say. Thank you. And I'll tell you something else. I'll tell you something else. 
Uh, it was uh, you're doing uh, you're doing the Lord's work. I will tell you that, and I'll say something else. It's been uh, it's been a 25 uh, year wait to talk to you, but it's been worth the wait, and uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah. It's a real honor. Yeah. For more information, this is important stuff. For more information, visit www.clintonfoundation.org. It's really important.